The Holy Spirit wants to help you. He wants to strengthen you. He wants to comfort you. Hey, dear friend, your strength is not enough for the journey. Your strength is not enough to overcome the temptation. Your strength is not enough to defeat the enemies. This is why the Holy Ghost came. He wants to help you. He knows where you are. He knows what you are going through. He knows the temptation you are facing. He knows the demonic attack against your life. He knows the challenges in your marriage. He knows the business crisis. The Holy Spirit, our special guest from heaven, he wants to help you. He wants to be there for you. But you just have to know what it takes for the Holy Spirit to help you. Let's have communion. In the place of communion, we get to know the Holy Spirit. And as we know him, we will receive divine supply. We receive divine wisdom. We receive divine knowledge. We receive understanding. And most importantly, we start operating in the glory world. The glory world, the world that is beyond, that is more real than this world, beyond this five, realm of five senses. So I say it again, the Holy Spirit wants to help you. Don't lean on your own understanding. The book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, tells us, so don't, don't lean on your understanding. Seize from your understanding. Seize from your strength. Seize leaning on human connection. I, if I can just get this door open, if I can just get to know this person, no, it is time to return to the Holy Spirit as a believer. You have a great helper that is willing to help you is able to open any door for you. That is the door that he has for you, not the door you want for yourself. So I'm saying to you this day, will you allow the Holy Spirit to help you? Will you allow the Holy Spirit to help you? Or you will still keep going in your strength, in your ability, what you think you can do, leaning on your five senses? Why don't you allow the Holy Spirit? For this purpose he came. Jesus Christ came. He died for us to have this precious helper called the Holy Spirit. Now that he has come, why don't you allow him to help you? Why do you why don't you allow him to help you? Listen to what Jesus said. Jesus said in the book of uh, John, chapter 16, from verse 5, I read quickly, but now I go away to him who sent me, and none of you ask me where are you going. But because I've said these things to you, sorrow. Sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. Jesus Christ said, the Holy Ghost came for our advantage. He did not come to make us see how poor we are, how wretched we are, how foolish we are. He came to help us to see that we are truly in the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We are be purchased by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And I'm saying again to you, businessman, the Holy Ghost wants to help you. Married man, the Holy Ghost wants to help you to know how to run the affairs of your marriage. Married woman, the Holy Ghost wants to teach you what it means to submit to your husband. Every one of us, every believer, every believer needs the Holy Spirit. But remember, it is the word surrender. We have to learn how to surrender to him. And this is why I have to quickly give you the scripture again. 2 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion, the fellowship, the partnership, the sharing together, the comradeship. Did you get all of that? Of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So if the Holy Ghost is going to help you, and of which I want you to know is willing to help you. Now you have to understand that there is something called fellowship. There's something called communion. There's something called comradeship, partnership, sharing together. In other words, get to where you simply say, Holy Spirit, I cannot do it. I have come to the end of the road. Holy Spirit, my wisdom cannot longer work. My understanding cannot longer work. A connection I have cannot longer work. I am leaning on you, Holy Spirit. I'm leaning on you. You just take over the steering. And now we follow. Holy Spirit wants to help you. He has come to be with you forever. John chapter 14 verse 16 says, He is our friend forever. Listen to this from verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandment. And now we pray the Father, He will give you another helper that He may abide with you forever. 
forever, not for some days. Oh, Holy Ghost will still, will still leave us. No, he's with us forever. Forever. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him for it dwells with you and will be in you. So we had advantage that the all believers do not have. The all, all believers prostitute with all courts. They go after demonic powers so as to succeed in life. But we have advantage in the Holy Spirit. We have advantage. Why don't you get to know the Holy Spirit? Why don't you just for a moment tell yourself, I need to know him. And talk to him and ask him, Holy Spirit, I welcome you. I want you to take over my life. I want you to be in charge of my marriage. I want you to be in charge of my business. I want you to begin to lead me. I want you to begin to guide me. Be intentional about knowing the Holy Spirit. Be intentional about it. You don't know the Holy Spirit by laying on offense. You have to know what it means to spend time with the Holy Spirit in the secret place. That is what you find in the book of uh, Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. That is where we meet with him. He abides under the shadow of the Almighty. In the midst of all the busyness, in the midst of all that is demanded for your attention, you have to learn how to separate yourself. Say, Holy Spirit, I really want to know you. Remember, he came for your advantage. He came for you. And he wants to help you. Are you going to allow him to help you today? Are you going to say yes to the Holy Spirit? I am blind without you, Holy Spirit. I am deaf without you. I cannot. I see nothing. You are blind like a bat without the Holy Spirit. You see nothing. You hear nothing. Did you get that? You, you, that is the truth. But when you say to the Holy Spirit, I want you, then it will begin to lead you. It will give you eyes to see, ears to hear. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 12, tells so us the hearing, hear, and the seeing eyes. They are both from the Lord. For the Lord is that Spirit. The Holy Ghost is the one. Let us quickly pray as we, third, as we tell the Holy Spirit to have his way in our lives, have his way in our marriages, have his way in our businesses, have his way. He knows where the great truth is. He knows how to get you to where you ought to be. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus Christ, especially for coming to die for us. We thank you for your death, your burial, and the resurrection. And we thank you, Father, for giving us the promise of the Father, the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, help us to know you. We want to truly know you. We are not after your gift. We are not after what you, what you will give us. We want to know you. And we are, we are releasing ourselves to you, Holy Spirit. Our spouses, we release them to you. Our children, we give them to you, Holy Spirit. Our businesses, we hand over to you. Our careers, we hand over to you. Everything about us, we hand over to you, Holy Spirit. We ask, Holy Spirit, we have no eyes. Because we have no eyes without you, please take charge, take over, and give us eyes to see. Give us ears to hear. Give us mouth to speak. Give us entrance. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we welcome you, Holy Spirit, that every demonic oppression, demonic attack against our lives, that you will break them. You are the power of the highest, the power of the highest. The book of, of, of Job 34 tells us of your power that is a shield, like our guide, our protection. So right now, Holy Spirit, we, we welcome you. That every demonic oppression against our lives, witchcraft attacks against our lives, against our marriages, against our, our, our spouses, children, that you will break them by your power in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray, Lord, Holy Spirit, that the reign of the Spirit, the reign of your of, of your spirit of the Spirit will come upon us, upon businesses, upon careers, businesses that are at its very at its least speed, making no progress. Lord, we receive the reign of the spirit, the reign of the spirit. Let there be fruitfulness for such businesses in the name of Jesus Christ. And we just I just decree, Lord, right now for, for, for destinies that are tied down, the destinies that are making no progress, nothing, nothing seems to be working. Sweet Holy Spirit, I welcome you that you will just move upon such destinies, whether they are tied down by devil, by satanic powers, demonic powers, or whether it is because of uh, of lack of uh, lack of sight. Lord, I just ask that you will move upon such people and they release them from such bondage that they will know what step to take and they will go forward in life in the name of Jesus. And also welcome the Holy Spirit upon marriages, upon families. Let there be testimonies in Jesus Christ's name. We have prayed. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. Remember, Holy Spirit wants to help you. Allow him to help you. And don't ever forget that it is through communion you get to know the Holy Spirit. We call it a day here. See you soon again.